right as the snow and ice is melting here's the river that's near where I shoot it's not a particularly large river and with the flooding here with the melting snow makes it about twice the size it normally is uh, most people would consider this a stream but this is the reason why there's hills around where I shoot and while there's a little bit of extra water we're gonna ask the question and see if we can get some answers to do bullets ricochet off water and before i get into testing this i'm gonna say no they don't um as a kid i had a lot of opportunity to come down here with pellet guns 22s and stuff like that and kind of shoot at water whatever and bullets do not in any meaningful way ricochet off water so we're gonna test that anyways because you can potentially skip them and that's something that's a little bit different so here we are, my shooting area in the juggernaut box is up there if you can kind of see it. This water right here is not the river, it's actually just kind of overflow. So because I have this overflow, I have some excess water where the water is going to be in such a safe direction with the big hill behind it that I can shoot at it without really any safety concerns. So. Let's get started with this test and see if we can really skip bullets off water and if they really ricochet. All right, I have my 686 and my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Uh, I'm going to use some 38 Special Ammo and this particular revolver and just some full metal jacket and this pistol. And if we can see right here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a target down there. I have my secondary camera on it. And we're going to try to skip some bullets off the water and into that target and before that I'm gonna just gonna shoot down at the water itself and see if we have any ricochets and when I was a kid I experimented a lot with pellet guns and stuff like that and one thing you definitely do know is that stuff like this a flat nose or a round nose and most notably a wad cutter pellet make a huge amount of difference in the way they're going to skip against the water and the biggest thing here is that your angle of attack to hit that water is you can't really have any i mean you could be at uh you know a 45 degree angle it's not going to ricochet you have to be like way down to like something like a 10 degree angle but we're gonna try anyways and just see if i can get some skips all right before i get much into this i have some lead round nose and I'm gonna shoot at about a 45 degree angle and see if we get any skips that we can really notice. Now it went into the water. A little bit more angle. I hit ice. See, even at this angle, which is, you know, maybe 20 degree, we're not ricocheting or skipping off water. It's going into it, so. Let's try something a little different. All right, I'm gonna to try to get a low enough angle to skip. Um, I'm gonna to try to get about a 10 degree angle and I think that I will impact at the base of that target I have down there if I get a low enough angle with these lead round nose bullets. If I hit the ground. Even at that angle, I don't think it skipped up. All right, let me try some more. I just gotta get real low. Yep, I got that one. So, can kind of definitely be done now let's set some wad cutters and see if there's a difference about how the way it impacts the water and as you can see the the angle that it's ricocheting up you know it's only going up about two feet up off the surface of that water so especially with handgun cartridges and a hill behind it it's definitely not dangerous uh, i got some wad cutters here totally different bullet shape those are going to impact the water differently
those may actually ricochet as well uh, but they're really tearing into the water a little bit more all right so now i have some full metal jacket nine millimeters these actually have a steeper angle of a nose than even the lead round nose 38 special so this should theoretically give me a good ability to skip them but we'll see what happens It's hard to be accurate at this angle, this low. Yeah, I see holes, so we're definitely ricocheting up, but as you can see, maybe about three feet up is our maximum that we're skipping them up at an angle. All right, I got something different, a little more fun to try out. And when I say more fun, I don't necessarily mean more powerful. I have some hand-loaded 38 short colt, and these are not typical because they are 158 grain. Not for a 38 special, they're roll crimped into the lube groove. And we're talking max 600 feet per second on these 158 grain bullets. So they're really low powered. They're almost something you can shoot without hearing protection. But I want to see how these impact with such a lower speed. These are hard to get accurate with. I'm gonna try some more. And these are kind of round, but they're kind of flat nosed too. So interesting. And they're hard to get accurate shots with. I'm gonna try. That looked weird. <laughs> All right. We'll try something else. All right, same bullets, but in 38 special. So going up from 600 to about 750 feet per second, will that affect us? Let's find out. Right, definitely easier for me to shoot accurately and definitely a lot more umph on that water. All right, now I have some flat point total metal jackets. Uh, and these are a little bit faster than those lead. Uh, they're one, I think they're 125 grand. They might be 158, I'm not sure. But there's a little more charge in them. Let's see how these do. Let's stand up with a shot, see what happens. All right, those aren't really wanting to ricochet from, or you know, deflect up from what I can see, but would not be complete until I test some hollow points. You know. Hollow points scoop up the moisture pretty much in my ballistic testing and expand. So theoretically, I think they could expand in uh, water, but we'll see what they do. I'll try to get a nice low angle on this. It does look like I had some hits up there. I don't know if they're from this or from something else, but I'm noticing some that are a little bit higher. But what we can definitely see here is that bullets do not 
ricochet and a you know and what we know is ricochet you know we talk, think of ricochet we think of if i were to shoot this tree with a super low power round and it come the bolt comes back and hits me or if i were to shoot a car and it were to ricochet off maybe 45 degrees off and hit somebody but when we're talking about shooting even at a 45 even you know a 15 degree angle even and they're not ricocheting you have to get like this really stretched out 10 degree angle or something like that and it's dependent on the bullet shape it is really hard to get bullets to truly skip off water or ricochet uh, so it's really something that's I don't I'm not really concerned about it myself uh, shooting at water now I suppose if you're on a boat on a lake and you were shooting way out at something you know those bullets are gonna come down with the nose still pointing forward and come down like this and with the rounded nose yeah it can hit that water surface and come back up uh, and keep going it's probably gonna lose a lot of steam but for any practical purpose I can't really see where bullets ricocheting off water is a real concern that you hear about all the time and especially in, in hunters education I mean it, it's really not a practical thing where you're gonna skip a bullet it'd be really hard to so hey that's just what you get to that's my test on that so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching